more people walking around out here? Melovision, an independent music coverage network. Today we're joined by Carl Blau uh -huh. at Fisherman's Village Music Festival 2023. It's a real pleasure having you on the program this afternoon. Uh, you've been through it a few times. What's your impression of the town? Yeah, I've had many impressions over my life because I've lived north of here, you know, for 40 years. Yeah, in my totally. Life, I think so. Uh, yeah, but I, I mean, I love what what Everett Music Initiative has done with the music scene here, you know, like help to foster it and stuff, and it just seems like there's so much, always so much interesting music. I mean, I was a big, like, uh, 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 I, I say big fan, but now I'm like, Sana, uh, Fawn, Sana, what's the name of the band? Fawn. Oh, Fauna Shade? Fauna Shade, thank you. Fawn, I was gonna say Fauna, Fauna Shade are the homies. Fauna Shade, They're man, sick. that band was so sick, and that was like, you know, not the first band I heard from Everett that I love, but that band, like Tellers and what was into them and Sarah Feinberg oh, yeah. stuff. It's a, like awesome, lots of great uh, music from out here. And, totally. Yeah, and just like that, that it's that the town's like turning around and appreciating the music happening here is like really cool to see. Yeah. So, uh, you know, how are you feeling about this year's festival? And I, I take it it's positive. You're seeing some growth. What? Who are, who are you excited yeah. to see? Yeah. I. You know, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna see a whole lot. I saw a bunch of great stuff today. Yeah. But um, I have to get the keyboard player back in totally. a minute, which is why. I, uh, but um, but yeah. So uh, so the, unfortunately, I'm not gonna see a bunch today. But Shannon and the Clams would be, is one of, is a great band. Um, yeah. So definitely check them out. And like, there's just such great music curators in there. There's totally. tons of stuff. But, yeah, but the yeah. local scene. Yeah. Rose, did you catch Rose the first set of the day? I did not. She's great. Yeah. No, her name's not, her last name's Rose. Okay, I'm. Just, I, mean, okay. I, don't know. No I didn't worries. meet this person yet, but I saw their set, and it was, it was it had like a crowd mesmerized. It was I'll, I'll yeah. find it, and I'll put it on screen right now yeah, to thank make you. sure we that, check them out. Yeah, yeah, that name right there. Yeah, yeah right, right there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you know, I saw that you uh, recently played in, in your, your new home in, in Pittsburgh uh, with, with oh, Phil Elbrum. Phil, Philadelphia. In Philadelphia. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, Philadelphia. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. No, there's a lot of Phil's <laughs> Pennsylvania. There. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> you played with uh, with Phil Elvrum pretty recently. I think it might have been on Cinco de Mayo. I don't remember. Uh huh. It was Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, yeah Cinco de Mayo. Um, do you still hang out with him or talk to him socially or creatively? Oh, yeah, yeah. We, t I mean, we talk um, mostly like through emails, just yeah. like, checking in. But because uh, you know, uh, we're our, our lives are intertwined with friends, and yeah. we're friends, and yeah, we check in with each other. Um, that I haven't seen him since the last time he came to Philadelphia. Yeah. Um, cause he's out on Orcas Island now. Um, oh yeah, yeah. And he's uh, seems to be doing great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's on tour with um, his new friend, and that was cool to see. And, and his kids like growing up and stuff. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. His set was beautiful. New songs, of course. Oh sweet. Always has new songs. Yeah. Oh always. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I know you you've been in that kind of collaborative sphere for a long time, so you, you know him better than probably most people. He's. I, like, I've known him since he was 14. Yeah. Wow. Phil. Yeah. Yeah. He was. Uh, he was in a like a battle of the bands situation mm -hmm. in high school. Oh um, sweet. Yeah, and it, yeah. That's um, nice. Yeah, he's always really been super creative, and I just, yeah, but um, yeah. It's cool and, that you still keep in touch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, and of course it's similar to Everett, where it's it's turning around and going like 
it's such great music that's happened here. We gotta just like keep acknowledging this cool stuff. And, yeah. Yeah. Have you guys heard "Burn the Box"? I have it's not like, heard "Burn the Box." It's like the Anacord is equivalent of what you guys do. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, and they're super okay. cool. Oh, I'll reach guys, out. Yeah, it would be cool to just to. to well, collab. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah. Um. Now. You used to be in it. Used to be based in Anacortes, obviously, mm-hmm. uh, and now you're kind of in your your home area. Are you getting back up towards your your hometown at all this weekend, or what's that looking like? Yeah, yeah. I started the day, well, the the day, hiking up Glamis Mountain, which is cool. And that's, oh, beautiful. I didn't grow up on Glamis, but just down the, um, you can see Samish Island where I grew up, like from that that lookout. And yeah. I'm staying with my mom out on Samish. Yeah. Nice. Uh huh. Next to the oyster plant, where I grew, kind of near where I grew up. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. I love that. That's that's good. Are you getting like a break in here while you're here? Or? Yeah, kind of, kind yeah. of. Yeah. I mean, I have a family and uh, a job and stuff. Yeah, home, of course. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> some obligations. Yeah. yeah, I got some obligations. Um, and, uh, yeah. Speaking of uh, jobs, you know, I know you've recently just started doing a, a new record label. Um, oh yeah. As of, you know, you did your, your most recent album on that. Um, yeah, Opal Esker. Yeah. Yeah, Opal Esker, and uh, that record is called or that record company is called spiral valley yeah um how has that change been from being you know like mostly kind of a collaborative songwriter kind of in that sphere to to more or less you know like you're running a label how, how is mean, that for you it's just a facade of a change because <laughs> yeah. you know like what you want to have a label on there just so people take it a little more seriously so just yeah. make your own label put Completely it on Completely get it you're yeah. on a label suddenly you know our labels on you totally. however it works yeah. suddenly it's, it's yeah. a thing yeah. so that's spiral valley it's just like spiral valley is this generic word for a record groove like a spiral valley oh, okay and so it's just like generic record look we're gonna put out records yeah. <laughs> do you uh, do you play any video games no, I wish I'm not. I'm not like in the to the new Zelda or anything. If that's okay. what you're asking. No, no. So there's this uh, there's this Japanese RPG called Xenoblade Chronicles, and there's actually a landmark in that game called Spiral Valley. Did you know that? Oh, cool. No. Yeah, it looks it. it's it's cool. Like like it's like this hole in the ground where like the rocks form like a spiral. Ooh. Yeah, because I was I was looking things up the other day, and I was like Xenoblade Chronicles. What the fuck? I was like, that's wild. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so no, I thought I'm it, check it out. Nice. Okay. I, I, I yeah. suppose you got that through Googling Spiral Valley, so I'm going to do the same. I'll do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, go yeah. find it. Yeah. Um, so there's this London DIY group called the Video Nasties, and, and they have <laughs> yeah. a song. They, they claim that you were best friends with them. You know, me and Carl Blau used to be best friends. He would say no. I would say yes. Uh, are you actually tight with them, or is that capping? No, I, I didn't know this guy. But I think I met him at a show one time. Um, uh-huh. If it's the guy I'm thinking of, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was just curious. I know. They just, like, took my name and ran with it. Yeah. yeah I was like, okay. Yeah. yeah, they put a lot of effort into that. Um, they're they're cool. I, I checked yeah, them out. Yeah, like, they're really cool. Yeah, looking yeah. into it, and I was like, was who trippy. are these guys? It was trippy. I was like, what are they doing with my name all over the place? Yeah. Was weird. weird. So, yeah, I guess, I guess these guys know Carl Plow. That's cool. That's what they claim. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, you know, over the years, we've seen a lot of different genres from your music. I know, like, especially in the early experimentation days and the, and the collaborative days, like, saw everything from, like, R&B to uh to like drone to kind of noisier stuff and, and now you've kind of uh you've set into this more like reverential kind of country rock and roll sound mm-hmm. if i might call it that mm-hmm. um just kind of rootsy feel i would say mm-hmm. is that kind of the, the future you see for your projects is that like your I true think, I mean, settling in or, or can we I expect a, a rap album from you next year could be a rap album yeah it could be i'm not sure like uh it's like a speaking in tongues rap album maybe <laughs> that would be cool um, call, they call that shit K-Bizzle. Yeah, totally, K-Bizzle. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Good, good. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, I, uh, I'm, I'm really into the, I'm calling it gruntry music, because it's like grunge grunge and country okay. fused, kind of. Yeah. Um, and I think there's a lot of precedence for this style of music, but I'm just sort of, like, putting a little flagpole on it, like, it's grunge yeah. music. And, and then it allows for, like, a relinquishing of some, like, you can, there's new rules involved. Like, totally. grunge, grunge has a lot of crazy chord changes sometimes i just love to get into that feeling of like country with like weird chord changes and like and like this and maybe a little louder guitar yeah you like cosmic country yeah 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 yeah, cosmic country yeah there's a great band um in philly um called uh cosmic guilt okay it's a real like brio brothers i I think i've heard of them actually they're really good yeah Yeah. i wouldn't be surprised they're great sweet um what are you working on musically right now and do you have any like recording projects you're currently getting in the, in the world. I'm like, I mean, I'm Opal Esker, we we're talking about doing the new new tracks, so we just put that record out yesterday, the EP came out, mm-hmm. Opal Esker. Oh, then, sweet, sweet. And then, um, we we're talking about doing some more stuff, and we've been, and I've been kind of like writing some stuff with them, but, um, 
I don't know what's next. I mean, he's gr- the, the, the grungy record with uh, with uh, Country Gravel, which yeah. is my Philly band. Okay. Corinne, Country Do- Gravel, okay. Yeah, Corinne Dodenhoff and uh, Joseph Pra Prouza on the drums, Corinne's on the bass. Sweet. And, uh, it's really fun, you know, she's got a little punk style on the bass and um, Joseph's kind of, he's just, he's got his own style on the drums and so and we're so we're kind of blazing our own trail, but it's really inspired by like, um, I don't know, like MJ Lenderman and stuff like that. <laughs> like he's like, like uh, uh, Dead Moon, you know, yeah. some like heavier kind of, yeah. It's that, that's the next thing is like we're writing, we're writing songs together. Yeah. And yeah. that's still, you know, uh, fits in with even like this space, you know, Dead Moon. Yeah, it, totally. It, it, it's cool. It's cool that it's kind of has a spiritual successor on another coast. That's nice mm-hmm. to hear. Mm-hmm. Um, how, how has uh, Philadelphia been for you versus being in that kind of slower area of like Anacortes? Mm-hmm. It's it's been great. Um, I mean, it, like the people are just wonderful there, and the the pace is a little. It's not too crazy there, I and mean, I think it's a little bit cheaper for artists to live there. Like, for there's sure. been a lot of artists moving there for that reason, yeah. and that gives people more time to kind of hang out too. Yeah. So I love that, like that vibe of people like spending time. We, we do a lot of like fire pits and hanging around, Hell yeah. and, like playing music. Uh, that's that's what we do around fire. here. So that yeah. that sounds nice. Right, so. right. Yeah. It's very, yeah, yeah. And um, there's a beautiful park next to where I live. Mm-hmm. It's like a seven mile long, like Wissahickon Park River Ravine. So I get some kind of like touch, touching to the forests. So, you know, it's forest important. vibes. Yeah, which is like a miss over here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Oh, it's it's you know it's. A lot of nature up here, and mm-hmm. yeah, that that was one thing I was wondering is you know mm-hmm. the, the nature aspect. That's, mm-hmm. that's it's hard cool. to be away from the beaches, man. That's oh, tricky yeah. for me. I, I don't know how long, much longer I can last. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad you're you're hanging out back here for a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, my, cool. my my last question for you, uh, what should I get for supper tonight? Oh, you should get for supper. Um, what would you suggest? You ever do breakfast for dinner? I have. That's so. Here's what. T- see if you can find like a green plantain or a green banana. Okay. Take it home and you like shred it like a mash, like a sh- like a uh, you know like hash brown. Yeah. Fry it and you know something good like if you don't have avocado oil, maybe butter, maybe olive oil, but nothing, sh- no shitty oil. You just fry it up. But fry it, yeah, and then flip it over and then maybe cut some kale or some kind of greens or like I don't know if you can find some chickweed around or something. Probably. Yeah. Put toss a uh, you know. Uh, uh, over easy egg on top. Oh fuck yeah! Yeah. Just set to go. Yeah. That sounds delicious. I've yeah. never, I've you know, I've heard of plantain chips. So mm-hmm. Never just a straight up. Yeah, you just fry it. It's the best, man. I'm kind of addicted to it. So that's <laughs> yeah. why I had to talk about uh, it. This might be the beginning of a terrible addiction. For me. Slippery slope. <laughs> yeah. You know, Carl, thank you so much for joining me on the program tonight. Uh, everybody watching, go find Carl Blau on all socials. It'll be all linked below. And, uh, you know, thanks for coming through, Everett, as well. It's been really a, a pleasure to have you on the program. Okay, thank you, Isaac. Yeah, thank you all for, for doing this. Sweet. Yeah, thank totally. You. Smash that motherfucking like and subscribe button. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Hell yeah, thanks, man. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and stay tuned for some, some more great action. Yeah, you're watching Melovision. Vision. <laughs>